So now we're going to go through running a tan sample. So we've gone back to our home page. Our electrode has been conditioning in water for about five minutes in between samples. I've also weighed out two grams of total acid number five standard. And here I put in the sterile bar. So now I'm just going to add 80 ml of solvent, which we use for our blank. Again, this is the premixed tan solvent we used previously. 80 mils. So I'm going to add that to my sample. And place in the titrate pod. And as you can see, what we've done here is we've I've added a temperature probe. So just to show you whilst it's running that it's that temperature probe, you can switch between degrees and Fahrenheit and you can see that working live. So now I've double checked the lines as well so this is also very good to make sure there's no air bubbles. If you need to do that from the home page you can press flush and it will perform a three cycle process again just to purge out all that air. So now we're ready to run our sample. So from the home page, this is one of our favourite methods as you can see method number two. sample information page. So we're going to enter our sample ID. I'm just going to call it TAN standard 5. There we go. Enter that. We'll leave the username blank. And in this case it's now our sample. So we need to activate the sample box. Our blank value which we ran previously which has been added to the variable function table. I'm going to add that in. So we can scroll down. Select yes. And again, if you need to, you can add that in manually yourself. And then the weight of the sample for this standard is 2.1900. OK. So now we're ready to run our sample. So all I'm going to do is now rinse it in our solvent in the electro platform and run. And a good check also is to just to make sure the electro tip is dispersed fully in the solvent, including the diaphragm. And there we go, as you see our temperature probe. And here we go, at the top here, is our temperature in degrees. If you hit that icon, you can see here, it's in centigrade. Again, same sum of information, the running state, the run time, the volume dispense there is a because it's a sample I've put in a time delay on this it tells you the method number and there we go now I just wanted to show you um, previously I ran a standardization of the titrant itself calcium hydroxide and I can show you the results of this Because another feature, if you want to get an average of maybe three standardizations, you'd obviously want to find out the relative standard deviation of them. So prior to this, here's, here's a standardization I ran earlier. As you can see the result, it's quite an old standard, so I didn't expect it to be um, near one. But as you can see, I've got a result of 0 0.9016. And there's the curve. As you can see, there's the, we've got a very nice inflection point there and a nice peak. And if I hit statistics, the left hand side lists all the results you have. So, depending on what you want to do statistics of, these little yellow boxes you must activate. So, for example, if the, out of the standardizations I ran, I activate this one and then 
this one here. You can see the results appear this side. Press statistic. And there we go. You have your mean, your SD and your RSD. And then I can just clear all. The other option as well, if you if you have if you might have a lot of results and you want to find the results quickly, it could have been a week or a month ago. Press filter. And you have the options to filter from specific dates. And you can also filter methods if you know your method name. It lists all these methods. So for example, you might want to look at a tan blank from in between a particular month, it could be November for for example. And you can also filter if you know what the method starts with. So there's some other options there. The other option we do have as well is Wi-Fi printing. So this is very important depending on where your PAT smart titrator might be placed in the lab. You, you might not always be near a printer. So you can access this through system settings. Here we go, if you see printer here, as you can see, what it would do, at the moment the Wi-Fi is turned off, but when this is on, it will list all the local addresses and you can open one, select, and straight away you can, you can print. So as you can see at the moment, We've got our we've got our lovely S curve here, and the runtime for this standard is, you know, between four and five minutes. So it's, it's quite fast titration. There we go. We have our result. First derivative curve. And there you go. Straight away, the result is stored here in the system. Okay, and that's how to run a turn sample.